UFO. What the UFO. fuck is that, bro? UFO, DNA in the sky. Whoa! What the fuck? It's like disappearing and shit. What the fuck UFO. is that? UFO. Seen it first. It's like Christmas UFO. Yo, that's creepy. What? Ah, shit! What the fuck? Oh, okay. But what where? The what the fuck is what that? What is that? Hot air balloon? Bro, no, what balloon, bro? It's just no a bunch balloon. of lights. There's no fucking snow attached to shit. We might be getting attacked right now. It looks very friendly. Number eight. Yo, let's grab an eight ball. Oh, fuck. Now I can't show my sister this. Bro, what is this? UFO, yo. Ooh. What the fuck? And it's gone. Dude, what the fuck was that? That's fucked. Where is what the fuck? Oh! What is that shit? It man? went from an eight to like a fucking so nine. Weird. Is it counting up? Better not be counting down. Right at Dufferin and Steels, Thornhill, Canada. There's alien activity. Es el turno de Canadá. En los siguientes tres videos podemos apreciar el testimonio del ex ministro de defensa. En él habla claramente de todo lo concerniente al contacto extraterrestre. Habla del trabajo que tienen con pilotos, con posiciones de gobierno. No te pierdas el video, en el cual incluimos obviamente diferentes evidencias, captadas por aficionados e investigadores, los cuales hemos decidido llamar los vigilantes en el cielo. Acabas de ver una flotilla en Canadá haciendo diferentes maniobras ante el asombro de los espectadores. En este segundo video podemos ver un objeto con una forma peculiar en una especie triangular que al parecer es una nave gigantesca. Siguiente de esto tenemos un ovni de plasma, el cual se ha visto en otros países y en diferentes momentos. A continuación, el testimonio del ministro de defensa canadiense. No te pierdas las declaraciones completas. My name, as I said, was Paul Hellyer. I'm a former Minister of National Defence for Canada. I served in three governments during a total of 23 and a half years as a Member of Parliament. Although as Minister of National Defence, um, I had sighting reports uh, of UFOs. Uh, I was too busy to be concerned about them at the time because I was trying to unify the Army, Navy and Air Force into a single Canadian Defence Force. And that itself was a kind of uh, battle to the finish. So um, this was not high on my agenda. But it, about 10 years ago, I started getting interested uh, due to a young man from Ottawa sending me material on the subject. I told him I was too busy to read it, but he had confidence that someday I would. He sent me a copy of um, Colonel Corso's book, The Day After Roswell. In this video, we can observe that the testigos siguen la trayectoria de este objeto hasta desaparecerse en medio de los árboles, en medio de la ciudad.
Impresionante evidencia al caer la tarde. Pero lo más importante es tu opinión. Deja tu comentario al respecto. It took me a while to get around to reading it, but I took it uh, for my summer reading in 2005 and um, was really impressed with what was contained in it. And what I thought to myself is there are huge issues here, huge issues. And the American people and the people of the world have a right to know what's going on. Podemos observar con toda claridad, un objeto que cruza a una gran velocidad una zona boscosa hasta perderse en la inmensidad. because they're part of it. It's not just an isolated thing. And so after confirming the contents of the book with a retired uh, United States Air Force general, I accept the invitation of Victor Vigiani, uh, who's over here somewhere, and his uh, cohort, uh, Mike Bird, to speak to a symposium at the University of Toronto. And uh, I said, UFOs are as real as the airplanes flying overhead. Un conductor que viajaba por las autopistas de Quebec logra ver en el horizonte una luz con un extraño comportamiento. Sin dudarlo, decide tomar su cámara y grabar la evidencia de este objeto que lo acompaña durante un gran trayecto de su camino.
si te gustó el video, suscríbete, dale like y comparte. Esto es Multiverso Desconocido.